Man, I wish there was something we could do today. It's too hot to go outside. <sighs> You've said it. It's so hot out there that you could boil an egg. <sighs> yeah, that reminds me. We never got those eggs from that store from the very first episode. <laughs> those were good times. Huh? Where's that whooshing sound coming from? What the? Mail? We never get mail. What the heck is this all about? It says, you are beautifully, wonderfully, extraordinarily invited to a, a presentation of vital information. Meet us at the TV room. Uh, okay. Wait a minute, that sounds like fun. We never have fun. I don't know about you, but this sounds kind of interesting. I kind of want to see it. Count me in. Okay, it should be over here. Oh, hello. You're here for the presentation? Uh, yeah. Gotta warn you, it's stupid. Ow, how stupid could a presentation be? Well, if you're that curious, then come on in. Thanks, Richard. Oh! It wasn't open. Okay, looks like these are our seats. Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are gathered here to learn a presentation of vital information. What is it that you ask? What we are going to present? Well, I'll show you. We today are going to learn about the villainous beings of outer space. Aliens. What? Oh, fear not my friends, this is only a presentation to help you if you ever encounter an alien. Um, and what are the chances we encounter an alien? Oh, this presentation is not to show how likely aliens will appear. This is just to show you what to do if you meet one. So basically, it's a class about aliens. Incorrect Amando, my friend. It's not just going to be about aliens. It's how to protect yourself, where they might be hiding, and what they might do to you, and how they could disguise as someone. Wow, you smell. That's what an alien would do. Insult at first. Some of you are probably wondering, what the frick are aliens? Well, I'll tell you. Aliens are green, big-headed, blood-sucking humanoids that aren't human that like to attack only the USA for some apparent reason. Guess I'll die. Oh, Stu. This class will prevent you from dying. Do not fear, for I have attained the information by the Great Supreme Intelligence. And who might that be? Ah, oh, you see, the Supreme Intelligence sort of- I can't speak! The Supreme Intelligence shouldn't be questioned, because if you question it, you will dead. Man, I should have ignored him when I saw him Fortnite dancing. Okay guys, let's say that you encounter an alien. What do you do? Um, Scream and cry? No you idiot, you put on your anti-alien hat. My, my anti-what? The alien's number one target spot upon the humans is one thing, the brain, which is what most of you don't have, so I don't know why you're taking this class. But anyway, they attack the head. So what do you do? You protect your head with all costs, observe. So basically what you need to do is put on one of these handy dandy masks, head things. 
My head is protected. You try it. Very, very good, my friends. I see that most of you have your masks on. Very, very well. Okay, now all of you can remove your masks as we move on to the next topic. Um, Stu, you can take off your mask. It's stuck. Here, I'll help you. Thanks. Okay, on to the next subject. We are going to learn where the heck these aliens live. Of course, it's not 100% sure where they live. We're just going to do, you know, some theories. Got any theories? Go ahead, Melvin. Let's see what your theory is. Okay, guys. This is my theory. My theory is that the aliens live behind the sun. You see, nobody ever wants to go to the sun because it's super duper pooper hot. And nobody ever wants to go there. But you see, conditions are different for the aliens. They can stand the heat because there are probably reptilians for all we know. And they live behind the sun because the sun does not move at all. Sure, the universe moves, but for the sun, it doesn't move at all, because logic. And the planets move, so what we need to do is that we need someone who is a reptilian to go to the sun and try to find the aliens. Yeah. Very good theory, Melvin. I'll look into that. Anyone else? Ooh, ooh, Freddy, I have a theory. Wanna hear it? Uh, well, sure, go ahead. Let's hear it. I have a theory that the aliens actually live behind Uranus. It's not a funny joke. Here is my theory. You see, Uranus is tilted, not like the other planets. And you see, aliens think that every other planet is weird to them because it's not the shape, uh, the same axis as you can see as our earth has a normal axis but as you can say uranus has a weird axis it's on its side and uh uh something about uranus they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand Okay, that's not happening. I just have one thing to say. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get- Okay. Our next topic is real pictures of UFOs. We want you to observe it and see if it can be debunked. And if not, it could possibly be a real UFO. What are your thoughts on this? First picture. Ooh, spooky, am I right? You know what I think? I think that this one is real. As you can see, there is a clear, close-up picture of a UFO. But, do you think otherwise? Okay, okay, I got this. Here is what I think. I think that that picture is 100% fake because look you can obviously see that there's a hand in the background and that there's a kitchen in the background therefore there is no background of space so that means it's just someone holding a plate what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard at no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Oh, 
Hmm, I don't know about you, but I believe Stu on that one. What the frick frack snick snack did you just say to me? I'll have you know that I trained in the Navy SEALs in the US Army. I was top sniper of the US Army, and I was trained in guerrilla warfare. So what you need to do, 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 is listen to me and shut up your mouth, you yellow banana. Because if you do not, I will kill you and your whole family, stitch them together, put them in a coffin, and shoot you to the moon. You got it? Oh, okay. Okay, brothers. This final question or topic is what you have all been waiting for. We are going to- OH MY GOSH, AN ALIEN! Uh, what the freak was that all about? Al will have his revenge. Well, that just about concludes it. Aliens do exist, as you can see from what I just did. You all can leave. And Sans, I want to speak to you for a moment. I told you! 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 Do not question the... Uh, what's the word? Do not question the marvels of science.